Chapter 58, Got Rich. Daylight was breaking, and the streets started filling with vegetable vendors and manual laborers. In the alley, Han Yi made sure that the demon cultivator was dead and confirmed that apart from the soul-suppressing banner, the soul-devouring nail, and the storage ring, there was nothing else that could be taken away, he stood up and said, let's go, let's go to the yamen to close the case. 1. Chu Shan Yu watched as Han Yi picked up both the soul-suppressing banner and the soul-devouring nail, and raised an eyebrow slightly, you're taking all the demonic sex magical artifacts. Han Yi laughed, the demonic sex magical artifacts are also magical artifacts. Besides, whether a magical artifact is good or bad is determined by the person who uses it. Even if it's a treasure from the immortal gate, if it falls into the hands of evildoers, it's still a lethal weapon. That makes some sense. For a moment, Chu Shanyu couldn't find any words to refute him. With the two magic treasures and the storage ring in his hands, Han Yi said to her, the demon cultivator was killed by you, Miss Chu. So technically, this storage ring and the soul-suppressing banner should belong to you. There should be quite a few spirit stones in this storage ring. Never mind that, I don't need the magical artifacts from the demon path. Chu Shanyu waved her hand repeatedly, I don't lack spirit stones. And besides, I feel uncomfortable taking spirit stones from a demon cultivator. You've already gone out of your way to rescue me, keep whatever you've gotten yourself. That's really kind of you, Han Yi responded with a bright smile. Who would be thought that she would have such a strong aversion to it? Young master, I'll enter the soul-suppressing banner to recuperate for a bit. The essence contained within those yin souls will help me restore my demon power. Once Tushin Kingly on his shoulder finished speaking, she entered the soul-suppressing banner. Don't worry, I'll definitely petition for your title. Han Yi patted the soul-suppressing banner and assured her. Then he stashed all the items into the storage ring and headed to the Yaman with Chu Shanyu. Walking into the Yaman's great hall, he saw a group of bailiffs who were on guard duty. They were sprawled out sound asleep, obviously having played all night. With wine and food still on the table, and even the dice cups for dice gambling. Seeing this scene, Han Yi was speechless and communicated via Truki, a rental of your wives pregnant, the bailiff captain suddenly woke up and asked in surprise, I'm immortal, how come you're here? Did you finish with Lady Chen? It's done. Han Yi replied indifferently, adding, where is your head bailiff? He went out last night and didn't come back. The bailiff answered truthfully. Han Yi glanced at these slackers, shook his head, and unwilling to waste any more words with them, left a statement and turned to leave. Go and check on your head bailiff Lia's house, I suspect he is dead. Also, tell your superior that the mission is done. Before leaving, he randomly took a bounty notice from the stack at the door. At the entrance of the task hall, Han Yi and Chu Shan Yu spent half a day returning to the Qingyun Immortal Mountain and began discussing how to report the incident. How do you plan to report the incident with the demon cultivator? Asked Han Yi first. Chu Shan Yu stared at him, replying, according to your thought, you probably want to conceal the existence of the demon fox. The female ghost was indeed handled by me, and the demon cultivator was slain by you. The division of labor is clear. All right, just like that then. Over the following time, the two explained to the task hall elder in detail about the demon cultivator incident. This caught the attention of the task hall elder, after seeing the spirit card projections of the two, he said to them solemnly, this mission you took was indeed very risky, not just for you. Other disciples also encountered demon cultivators, mainly in the small towns near Qingyun State. However, some who didn't possess strength like you did perished for reasons yet unknown. In theory, your mission should be been handled by cultivators at the Foundation Establishment stage. So, Hania wasn't interested in consoling words, he was hoping for some tangible benefits. As such, the rewards you will receive will be based on the Foundation Establishment Stage Mission Standard. Said the Task Hall Elder seriously. Here are 2,000 lower grade spirit stones, calculated at 10 times the reward for a key cultivation mission. Which is roughly equal to the reward for a Foundation Establishment Disciple. Han Yi took the ordinary looking storage ring from the Elder, it was surprisingly heavy in his hands. This was 2,000 spirit stones. Your deeds will be reported to the sect, and you'll each be credited with 100 assessment points. You've worked hard. 
After receiving the spirit stones, Han Yi felt like he was floating as he left the Great Hall. In addition to the 2,000 spirit stones, there were also 100 assessment points. What did 100 assessment points mean? You should know that to become an inner sect disciple, you need at least 1,000 assessment points for promotion. Previously, this mission was worth IO assessment points, he would need to do 100 missions like this to be promoted to inner sect disciple. Now the progress was accelerated by a tenth. Direct disciples needed 10,000 assessment points, true disciples needed 100,000 points. Of course, assessment points were just one of many evaluation criteria. A truly powerful cultivator should be impeccable in all aspects. Are you really that short of money? Chu Shan Yu watched Han Yi who was in a daze while looking at the storage ring. She couldn't help but ask. Han Yi snapped out of it and nodded vigorously, I won't lie to you. I come from a farming background and grew up alone from a young age, so I didn't have money or control over any spirit stones. If not for the Liu family's quota, I might never have had the chance to set foot in the sect. You made it here all by your own efforts? Upon hearing Han Yi's experiences, Chu Jianyu's eyes flashed with admiration. Indeed. In that case, take these spirit stones. I don't need them much. Chu Shanyu, her face veiled by a cloth, said softly. Until we meet again next time. That doesn't seem right. Friends are friends, and accounts should be settled nonetheless. Here's what I suggest. I am currently in dearth of spirit stones. I would borrow them from you for now. Once I advance to another realm, and have enough money, I will return back these to you immediately, deal? All right. Upon hearing these words, Chu Jianyu's brows raised, bringing forth a faint smile, before she happily departed. Han Yi watched Chu Jianyu's departing figure in deep thought. Throughout their encounter, he gained numerous attributes from Chu Shanyu. Notably the Sunflower Water Spirit Root, which also gave him hope that his own Spirit Root could potentially change. And now, he wants to use these hard-earned Spirit Stones to purchase an artifact of his own. Mount Duo Bao Stepping into the Great Hall again, Han Yi felt much more confident. After all, he now has money. It's not like before when he was dragging his feet to buy a single key nurturing pill. He headed straight to the artifact section to choose an artifact suited for him. Although the Soul Suppressing Banner and Soul Devouring Nail are artifacts, he didn't dare use them with Insect. In fear of being mistaken for an infiltrator of the Demon Path, Moreover, he wasn't able to lift the Demon Cultivator's prohibition on these items yet. After browsing for a while, Han Yi realized that his 2000 Spirit Stones weren't that significant after all. He could only afford artifacts of Destiny, Spirit and Magic categories, and could only look at the Magic ones. As for the Spirit and Destiny objects, he didn't even dare to think about it. The Spirit Stones required for them were astronomical figures from his current standpoint. Spears, halberds, swords, axes, the popular types, the unpopular types, were all available. Han Yi couldn't help but contemplate which artifact was the most suitable for him. As a body cultivator, the tool best suited for him is something forceful and violent, like a blade, rather than a flying sword. Even though the sword is undoubtedly the king of weaponry, it is also the most difficult to cultivate. Even though he possesses the attribute of sword art mastery, and has some understanding of it. When it comes to the more simple and violent blade, his knowledge is far from enough. Forget it, I'll buy a blade first. At present, a blade suits me better. After I pick up the attribute of sword art mastery, I can buy a flying sword then. After deciding, Han Yi looked at the long blade in front of him. Profound Thunder Blade, a medium grade magic artifact. This was a thunder attribute artifact with a blade adorned with densely packed purple electricity patterns, resembling fish scales. The blade handle and sheath were made from thunderwood, capable of absorbing spiritual key, summoning divine thunder, and restraining evil spirits. Han Yi then looked at the price, 1,500 spirit stones. Definitely not cheap, but it was worth the price. Bought it. In a rare moment of decisiveness, Han Yi directly took the artifact out from the glass cabinet and placed it on the counter. He was not in a hurry to pay, but instead headed to the area selling spirit seeds again. With the remaining 500 spirit stones, he could buy more seeds for spiritual medicine. 
He had the attribute planting expert, which could cause plants to ripen earlier. To make the most of the time difference, he could buy more seeds. Han Yes gaze was as sharp as a torch, choosing the seeds of the highest quality which included types such as dragon sleep grass that nurtures spirit and soothes the soul, blazing sun fruit for bone and muscle enhancement, and evergreen ivy leaves which are used in healing pills. Lastly, he bought two more bottles of key nurturing pills, which cost a total of 400 spirit stones. He only had 100 spirit stones left. As he handed over the spirit stones, the elderly man behind the counter at Mount Duo Bao counted the spirit stones and seeing that he had bought so many things, artifacts, and seeds. Couldn't help but give him another look, you must be a newly promoted outer sect disciple. To be able to produce so many spirit stones is quite remarkable. He had seen countless outer sect disciples all living in poverty. There weren't many like Hanyi, who was so affluent. Either they had connections in the sect, or they had stumbled upon a treasure. Worried that he would ponder too much, Han Yi explained immediately, I took on a rather difficult task and earned them together with others. I still need to share some of it with them. The old man just yawned, waved his hand, and motioned for him to take the goods and leave quickly. Han Yi put the remaining items into his storage ring, held his new profound thunder blade in hand, summoned a white crane, and returned to the pure Yang Peak. Holding on to the profound thunder blade with both hands that he couldn't bear to part with, examining it with the simplicity of a child with a new toy. The more he looked at it, the more satisfied he was, delighted in his heart. He couldn't wait to return to test its power. However, he had only just landed among the mountain peaks when a voice came searching for him. Disciple Han, where have you been these days? Hearing the voice transmitted from the sky, Han Yi felt a twinge in his heart. He recognized it as senior sister Shen's voice. He had been absent for two days, and he hadn't practiced the Hanshin Five Element Gang passed down by his master yet. Have you finished the task assigned by the master? You are always running outside. Shen Yuxiang stood in mid-air with arms crossed over her chest, appearing above Han Ye's head, wearing an indifferent expression. When Han Ye saw her in white instead of her usual green, he knew that the sex approval has been completed and senior sister Shen had been promoted to be a direct disciple. Upon seeing the profound thunder blade in the hand of Han Yi, Shen Yuxiang raised an eyebrow. Arms still crossed over her chest and asked, where did you get the money? 